गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज निकी सो टुडे आई थॉट ऑफ शोइंग यू माय मेबलिन स्किन टिंट रूटीन आई फेल इन लव विद द स्किन टिंट आई अप्लाइड ऑलमोस्ट टू ऑल द इवेंट्स व्हिच इज इन डे टाइम व्हिच इज अंडर द सन वेदर आई एम गोइंग फॉर अ ब्रंच वेदर आई एम गोइंग फॉर अ कॉफी वेदर आई एम गोइंग ऑन अ डेट इफ आई एम गोइंग आउट इन डे अंडर द सन आई विल बी अप्लाइंग द स्किन टिंट and my makeup stays like this all day long i never take my touch ups in my bag all i take is the lipstick because i eat a lot so i always you know have to reapply my lipstick starts it this will stay like this for at least 7 to 8 hours from now i am going for a brunch and a movie later on so i was about to get ready so i thought of why not show you guys what's my routine with the skin tint so maybe you guys get inspired to do your own makeup with the skin tint and let me know how it goes for you so yeah if you want to see how i got this look right here then please keep watching but before that you guys know the drill please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell icon right here so you will be part of my family and without any further delay let's get into my video so oh, today we are so matchy matchy it's like full curly thing time right I have scrubbed my lips and now I am going with this Elf Power Grip primer. This is like the most sticky primer I ever had in my vanity. But today I'm using this Bobbi Brown color corrector in the shade Very Deep Peach. This is how it looks. I will be out for like good 9 to 10 hours and I guarantee you guys my makeup will remain as it is after following this routine. Today I'm going to grab this Elf Hollow Glow liquid filter. This is in the shade shade. This is in the shade number 4. This is just a glow in a bottle. I think we all have been there at that place when we applied it for the first time. This or that uh, Hollywood flawless filter, we didn't like it at all. But this is something which you actually mix with your foundation, and it gives that inner goddess glow from within to your foundation or your skin tint. Now I'm going to grab my favorite Maybelline Skin Tint 24 Hour Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Skin Tint, and this is in the shade 310. I hope they will come with more shades. I love the formula of this one. What we will be going to do here is apply a very sheer coverage. That's why I have opted for a skin tint because if you are going out in a day where there will be too much of sunlight, this is what I generally prefer. Whenever there are artificial lights, I always go for a full coverage foundation, but whenever I go out in natural day sunlight, I need this skin tint kind of thing which will give me a picture perfect skin but I should look like me, right? My skin is my skin right now, but it's way more healthier, right? Whenever I use a skin tint, I always go with the Hourglass concealer. I always use the shade Beach for my under eyes for brightening them. But this is like with that Maybelline skin tint. It's like my day perfect skin, you know, with this concealer and that skin tint. So I follow the same procedure. So I'm blending it under my entire eye. for having little bit of more coverage than a sheer skin tint there and little bit of more brightness i am going in with this milk makeup stick club stick in the shade simmer and today i am putting it little higher up than my actual hollow area little bit of, okay <laughs> little bit of there I will take a different sponge and I will do the same I will repeat the same step I will take my fix plus and spray it on the flat side okay I will go ahead and start blending it in just two three patting it just dissolves in my skin see the contour it's like a natural shadow line to my skin you cannot see any harshness so now it's the time for blush and I'm going in with this revolution super dewy liquid blush right here in the shade you got me blushing such a nice name you know and put a tiny bit of dot here again i'm going with the pointed side of my beauty sponge just spring some fix plus there and start blending it just look at it how pigmented this is i just love this blush i'm going to wrap it around to the side of my eyes to the center of my eyes basically everywhere <laughs> i'm repeating the step on the other eye just wrap it around the eye so now that we have a nice sunburned cheek What I will do, our next step is take a tiny bit of concealer again. Get our glass one. Just put two dots here. Coming to powders now. So I am going into Peach Pie from Huda Beauty. I will take it on my powder puff and just smooth it on my hand, and then just go in under your eye. Just set everything there. See the difference. This side and this side. 
this powder, Peach Pie, is Peach Pie, right? I mean, yeah, Peach Pie, Easy Bay from Huda Beauty. It's just so good. So now that my under eyes has set, I am taking the sponge again, the other side, which is still damp, but don't have any fix plus on it. And I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Finishing Powder in the shade number two, medium, and grab it on my puff like this, smooth it out on my hand, and just set my entire face. Once that is done, I'm going in with this Huda Beauty Glowish in the shade Tan Light 3, Soft Radiance and grabbing some product and just going to set that contour area of my face and even onto my eyes now. First, I'm going to set my eye base. So I'm going in this NYX Ultimate Warm Neutral Palette and going in with this neutral shade right here. You can see this one. Grabbing a full fluffy brush. And just setting my eyes. Now I'm gonna go in this brown shade right here. It's also a very cool toned brown shade. I'm taking it on my brush and just put that on the outer corners of my eyes and then my crease area. Then I will blend it towards the outer corner of my brows, not here, this corner of my brows. Now I am going in with this shade right here, this one. This is a very dusty, rosy shade brownie rosy shade you can say this one if you can see and i'm again putting it in the outer corners of my eye and then bringing it towards the inner part of my eye now this step is totally optional you can totally go with the brown liner or anything of your like but i'm taking this brush right here and taking this dark matte chocolate brown shade and just put a tiny bit on the lower part my eyelids. Falsies, I am using this one. It's called Blushing from Lily Lashes. I will, okay, I hope you can see this. It's too sunny outside here. Yeah. It's reflecting a lot. Okay, this is how these lashes look. I will quickly put this on off camera and come back to you guys. Okay, now the falsies are done. So I'm going again with my NYX Ultimate Warm Neutral Palette and pick up this rosy shade right here and just like a little bit in my lower lash right now. We are almost done. One last time. Before going with the lips or anything, I'm going to take this MAC, 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 MAC Fix Plus again and just spray my whole face. Just trench myself in this. So that everything will be melted. And now we are moving to our lips. I'm going to take this NYX liner in the shade Soft Spoken and just outlining the center part of my lips. For that Barbie doll look. I'm overlining them here. Inspire from Maybelline Matte Ink. Just the center part of my lips. Fora lip gloss in the shade Outrageous. It's such a nice muted nude shade. Then I will go ahead again with that Wet and Wild Broken highlighter in the Precious Petal on the damp side of my blender. Once again, I will grab the product like this, even it out on my hand, and just go over my blush now I'm going in with my brown mascara like this from Too Faced it's better than sex from Too Faced and apply it on the lower lash okay guys so I think that is the final look up close and I guarantee you this will stay as it is no matter where are you moving? What are you doing? How much you are in sun? Doesn't matter at all. It will stay like this. And as you can see, my skin eats makeup. Remember the amount of blush I have applied in start and now how much it is showing. It's like almost invisible on my skin. I just have natural flush of colors. That's it. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know in your comments if you have any thought. And if you will try it, do tag me in your pictures. My Instagram account is on my page. So yeah, if you want to check out more of my videos, the links are here. So that's it guys. Till I will meet you next. Stay happy, stay blessed. Bye-bye.